<laughs> Gargirls. <laughs> Gargirls. Dusk. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I I hurts, yeah, but it's a lot of ifs, you know. So basically, it's risky. Yeah, basically, right now, okay, Prophet didn't die, but Sven is still farming the lane. We've seen this a lot, like the max, uh, the max cleave. You go for a clang blade and you just keep farming and you stack ancients. So that is like yeah, Mushi way. did it the other day. So this is the way that newbie is gonna pull ahead with the Sven, and LGD is gonna try to play a fast-paced game to not allow that to happen. Too they want to take early towers, get a ward up in the ancients. Don't let Sven play the farm game. Yep. So right now, Tron is situated at the at the top side so he's gonna be able to help the beastmaster soon he has a fairly decent kick for that now blood bottom lane is newbie combined here snowball the shards and an earlier storm hammer to set it up gets the kill i'm looking at this mid lane though winter where maybe has 74 damage to moose 53 uh, and he has been pulling him BDC, he's gonna lane. be run down by bambi with the superior movement speed not gonna be able to escape <laughs> actually had the cask there the deny instead right the projector was going to him and he dominated And he actually. dominated it so it became a deny instead of instead of a, a kill. So right now our is trying to drag the creeps back to his game, but it's not gonna be able to do so how it's not gonna be. Uh oh RTK in danger he's here in the bottom lane, teleport's done. available, but he's too slow. There's still a snowball, so he was there's no way that he could have got up here in temple and try to they're Get moving on top items. now, smoke gank from Tron. And they're gonna find out DDC here with the boar going to work as well as Tron with the auto attacks. They can just get a rage first stuff from the centaur. It'll be sure death for DDC. Gust comes through, but they keep on chasing the centaur sun slightly short. They turn, throwing out a new gun to Tron, and now Silar slowly working there with Can't the frost attacks. Me. The arrows do touch him just enough in all the wrong places, and Tron will go down. You know, in the end, it's still like pressure that the, the lane, because we such like you don't want to be such to get the early level six as well. So killing him was still a, a big deal for them. But right now, LGD, because the tempo is snowball on mid, they're moving on to maybe here. AMP coming through, they get the shards trap. He dodges it, he gets off the silence. Maybe he's not out of this one yet, but he is gonna have an orb. Can he make it? Oh, not quite. Even had the, he had the region run and he had popped it. One was scouted. An observer were oh, there. They, 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 they weren't up the hill. hill. Oh, they weren't up on the lower hill. But I don't. I LGD weren't. Kill. They still catch him. Snowball forward. Centaur's there to find MMI. Oh, do they kill him? Charge them. Yes, they will. So MMI down six to on the score. I'm not sure if they saw that, Gorman. <laughs> it looked like they did. They were not on the high ramp and they have vision of it, but. Oh, well, newbie now getting turned on. Maybe Tron goes down here. One more frost arrow. I mean, know. it's uh, the tier one bottom tower at bottom lane, so. Still something for for newbie. They start losing heroes there, and right now they're gonna try and treasure the draw with the cast coming in. They got a stomp from the central here. And they are gonna follow it up. Cast comes through a nicely placed cast by to keep Salar alive, but he is being dove. Currently snowball rolling in deep onto the draw. They're gonna isolate him, bring him down with one more auto attack. The Maledic working on late. He drops a ward on the retreat out. Don't think LGD scouted that as they're busy trying to get the kill. Last Maledic tick will do it, and but Latule goes to work now with the force help and the auto attack damage that a beast master brings to the table. MMI's gonna drop as well. Twan's still in this one, and DDC's gonna go down. They've wiped out the tri lane. Three have fallen. While that was all going on, the invoker did get up for some of that. Wow. All right. Action, action everywhere. Man, they needed that from AB. In fact, they might even catch Tule retreating here. The Frost Down is coming through. Silence is there. The Gust just to slow him down for a moment. Tule backing off. The Orb's going to be ready soon. Tron trying to turn this though. Here's the Tornado. Oh, it's such a short phase shift that it actually still catches him out and maybe is going to drop it. Now Silar's in danger. Right back the other way. We keep on going. There's two heroes bottom. Witch Doctor's not in position to help out his Drow Ranger. The Gust is there. But Newbie keep on plowing into this Drow and Tule is dominating 4-0 and 3 this top lane. levels like in the lanes they can't stay in their lanes that's the problem for lgd right now they need the puck to break things apart yeah. they're gonna roar ddc under the shadow of his tier three tower pocket will tp into the top but they're gonna need more backup it comes to the puck they were baiting now too late gonna get caught into it's a trap but this time it's um, newbie the ones caught within it two down they only lose a this straight player it's a little that tilts rtz for sure I don't know if you tip. Oh, but they have to abandon. Oh, but you can't do that here. Am I gonna get caught up? And they roll on the baby. Cold snap came through. He face shift to try and dodge it. Already committed the silence, drops the coil. But they're on the offensive. Newbie looking to finish off this punk. Silo Ryzen could position for a gust. They're gonna work forward on the move. Trying to turn it around. LGD desperately looking to take this fight. Maybe the deep soul assumption is enough. Secures the kill on a fleeing invoker. So a two for one thus far. Uh, Maybe man. they could rat play game, but they're definitely not gonna he's head on. He's not fight. gonna rat now. It's just he's gonna be dead. <laughs> the rat, he found the trap. <laughs>
I was gonna quickly finish them off here. Uh, he, he found the cheese in the lane. Oh no, the no, that's a tree the the flanks. Maybe it's the one in front though, and he blinks out RTK a little bit close. Runs towards them. Mid for this instead, they're gonna roar DDC. Let's see if they leave him. Profit all comes in. Looks like they're thinking about fighting it. Jumping forward. Coils there. It is only gonna hide you way too late. Can they finish off Twan? This not quite able to see stuff. Now that was on the run. The Stormbow comes in and spins. Gets the work. Hammering away with the War Cry. He is able to tank the vast majority of that Death War damage without taking too much in his own right. How backing off, getting earned up. RTK gonna fall as well. That's four down, and now it's just maybe. Last man standing. Couldn't find. I don't even go for the Midas, he goes back into Tread, so... Everything focused on right now. For LGD, here we go. Orbit is a pit, the road's extremely low. Well. Killed by the Radiant, somebody grabs the damn Radiant. Oh, it's the Spander gets it. Complete through, finishing off the post. Now the Draw Ranger dead as well. A perfect high ground, Death Ward. Not enough to even call out one. Total on a second time, still the RK, trapping him up on a Kirby Pops the Meg. You get pushed down by the Ice Shards, and right into the waiting arms Radiant's of Hal, who will finish him up together with Lay. That's poor dead. RTK, he's doing his job Radiant's pushing out these lanes, so perhaps gonna be punished. The blink surprise from Hal. One, two, three. Oh, he gets off the back, so it's gonna be a couple of extra tags. But RTK ain't running for this one. And Hal will collect his bounty. Radiance top. The thing is just a thing in Dora now that everyone should do that. It's neither good or neither. Why, why is everything black and white with you? Why can't there be shades of gray? These shades of gray. Here comes a maybe jump forward, he got off the coil. There's the roar though to counterplay him, and Lay just rolls right in. Punk into the next universe, or we'll finish above DDC now. Getting man moded on by Tron. This Bambi's got some legs on her, and she'll keep on going on to ROTK. One more in, actually make it two. Should be enough to finish the jump. Two Lay's gonna help out with the four. Silar next, that's four down. Newbie, quick, decisive, and brutal are slaughtering LGD and go to work. They throw the alacrity on him. It's attack speed enormous for a spin at this stage. Over two attacks per second. Familiar stun here and there, but it is not enough. LGD thoroughly beaten, battered, will limp into game three, unable to close out their beat. Hero of the series so far, Enchantress, I have to say. Every series has its own hero, and this series, Enchantress is the hero. Ben? Hey. So who is going to have first pick in game three? Is it just yeah, going to switch here? I believe they're going to have another coin toss because uh, from what I understand that they don't want someone who have won the coin toss. I think if Newbie get first pick, LGD will ban. Whoever gets second pick will ban Enchantress, most likely. You know, do LGD need to though? Because they could have picked like something less risky. Like they give away the